Good morning, everyone. Today is September 11, 2021. We are going to chant Shoshin Nembutsuge in Jungirai style. So please shame me in Gashio. Please put your palms together. Namo Amida Butz. 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 きみ本入無常修願頂上上等学書第二年半の本内心造し運む一切全幕新行十字人社会を来量が線異種公明南天寺流従大寺出頭生質の財派を無権千絶大乗無情報長官維持所安楽賢治南行六六
新魚異魚死ドラ億年未だ仏本願、次年即時入必上、唯の上昇如来語、大法大悲愚勢よ、天人菩薩造論説、奇妙無下工業来、英州たら献身実、大仙王朝大聖願、こういう本願力栄光、移動軍上昇一心、気入苦毒大崩壊、いつ逆入大英収集、特殊連芸造世界、即小心魚法小人、有本の林源人図、入小寺四寺予言、本師丼乱領天使、上皇乱消防殺来、三蔵ルシ十状況、文上専業気楽法、天神防殺論中下、報道院が県政願、大言ねこゆたり、少女心ゆい新人、枠前凡夫新人ポーツ、小地小地即寝半、一死無料孔明道、少女修正回復け、道者結晶道難所、ゆいみょうじょうどかつぎゅう。まんぜんじりきへんごんしゅう。えんまんとくごうかんせんしょう。さんぷさんしんけいおんごん。ぞうまつほうめつどうひいん。いしょうぞうあくちぐぜい。死安妙外小妙家、全道独妙部小意、公愛上三妙逆悪、公妙妙合見因縁、介入本願大地会、幼者小獣混合心、病気一年総合、用意大統逆三人、即症法症史上楽、原神公開一大教、延期安業官一切、先祖修身反戦人、法華二道小弁流、極獣悪二唯小仏、我薬在非摂取中、煩悩小言水不見、大悲無見上昇が、本資源苦妙仏教、連民全幕本部に、新宗教書後編集、戦略本願具悪性、現来小寺林伝芸、決地議場遺書士、即入弱上無依楽、一致新人異能入、愚教大事修士と、上祭無変極上悪。盗賊自修、自主愚
かしんしこうそうせなまんだぶ Now, I would like to share the verses of Shoshinge. So, please, s h a m i n g a s h o please put your palms together. Ongan no Miogo, Shoujo no Go Nari. 死神、神行の願を因となすと。The name embodying the primal vow is the act of true settlement. The vow of entrusting with sincere mind is the cause of birth. ナモアミーダブツ。ナモアミーダブツ。ナモアミーダブツ。ナマンダブツ。ナマンダブツ。ナマンダブツ。ナマンダブツ。So, the word, the name embodying the primal vow in the first verse, Shinan Shungin sees the name has the power of the working of the primal vow as it is. In the passages on the p y o l a n Way, Shinan Shungin said, Amida's directing of virtue to beings through the power of the primal vow has two aspects the aspect for our going forth to the p y o l a n and the aspect for our return to this world. And then in Shozo Matsuwa-san, the directing of virtue embodied in Namo Amida Butsu is in its benevolent working, vast and inconceivable. Through the benefit of the directing of virtue for going forth, we enter the directing of virtue for returning to this world. So, from these、uh, passages、uh, and Wasan, We can see that Shinran Shungin understood Amida's directing of virtue to being through the power of the primal vow equals to the directing of virtue embodied in Namo Amida Butsu. And this name, embodying primal vow, is a practice selected in the primal vow. And the recitation of the name Namo Amida Butsu is the true act of the true settlement. And this understanding comes from Shantao. And Shantao、uh, classified or divided the practice as the right practice, which directly relates to Amida Buddha and the Pure One, and Sanji practices or mixed practice, which does not directly relate to Amida Buddha and the Pure One. So this does not mean that you know, Sanji practices are not the practices to attain enlightenment, but You know, when we aspire to attain birth into the pure land of Amida Buddha specifically, sundry practices are not the right practices. So, what are the right practices to attain birth? So, relying on Shantao's understanding, Shinran Shungi wrote in Butoku's note one, to single heartedly recite only the pure land sutras. Two, To single heartedly observe only the adornments of the p i a l a n Three, to single heartedly worship only Amida Buddha. Four, to single heartedly say only the name of Amida Buddha. Five, to single heartedly 
praise and make offerings only to Amida Buddha. So these are called the five right practices. And then Shantao also divided these five practices into two. Single-heartedly practicing the saying of the name of Amida alone. This is called the act of true settlement. Two, if one engages in worship, sutra chanting, and so on, these are called auxiliary acts. So recitation of the name Namo Amida Butsu is the act of true settlement. And Shantao said in his commentary on the Contemplation Sutra as follows. Single-heartedly practicing the saying of the name of Amida alone, whether walking, standing, sitting, or reclining, without regard to the length of time and without abandoning it from moment to moment. This is called the act of true settlement, for it is in accord with the Buddha's vow. So <clears throat> Amida Buddha or Bodhisattva Dharmakara vowed in the 18th vow, if one aspire to be born in the pure land and recite the name, and yet the one will not attain birth, Bodhisattva Dharmakala will not become Amida Buddha. So aspiring to be born into the pure land and reciting the name is in a cause with the vow. It is in accord with the vow, so the recitation of the name, Nembutsu, is the act of true settlement. But important part we should not forget or misunderstood is that recitation of the name is the act of true settlement not because there is virtue to my recitation, my recitation of the name, but it is in accord with the vow. Because it is in accord with the vow, it is the true uh, act, of, act of true settlement. Not because I said Nembutsu, it becomes the act of true settlement, okay? And Shina Shongi said in chapter on transform Buddha land, uh, Buddha and land of Kyogyo Shinsho. It's a little bit long, but how grievous it is that since the beginning last past, foolish, ignorant human beings possessed of defilements and hindrances have mixed the auxiliary and right and combined the minds of the meditative and non-meditative practices so that they have had no chance of attaining emancipation. Reflecting on our transmigration in birth and death, we realize how hard it is to take refuge in the power of the Buddha's vow, how hard it is to enter the ocean of great Shinjin, even in the passage of countless kalpas. Truly, we must sorrow at this. We must deeply lament. Sages of the Mahayana and Hinayana and all good people make the auspicious name of the Prima Vow their own roots of good. Hence, they cannot give rise to Shinjin and do not apprehend the Buddha's wisdom because they cannot comprehend the Buddha's intent in establishing the cause of birth. They do not enter the fulfilled land. So Shinra Shungin grieves and lament that the one chose the recitation of the name as the practice, but because the one sees the virtue in their own recitation of the name, the one attached to the self-power and not able to attain birth in the fulfilled land. And today's verse uh, continues to the next verse. The name and uh, the vow of entrusting with sincere mind is the cause of birth. And in notes on inscriptions of the sacred scrolls, uh, Shinran Shung explained this verse as, the vow of entrusting with sincere mind is the cause of enlightenment, refers to true and real Shinji, which is given by Amida Tathagata. This Shinjin is the very cause for the attainment of the supreme enlightenment. So the recitation of the name Namo Amida Butsu is the act of true settlement. But the true cause of the attainment of the enlightenment is Shinjin, entrusting heart. You know, Honen Shongi followed uh, Shantao's understanding as the birth through Nembutsu. Of course, Shinran Shongin followed Honen Shongin's teaching. 
But some people in their time started to argue and basically divided uh, groups into two. One group thought one recitation is enough to attain birth into the parent. And another group thought many recitation is necessary to attain birth into the parent. So actually, this argument is missing the whole point that the birth through Nembutsu is caused by the working of the vow of Amira Buddha. This group thought their own recitation of the name has virtues. So the numbers of the recitation became the problem. And Shinran Shongin emphasized the birth through Nembutsu is caused by Buddha's vow. You know, as we study the explanation of the six characters name, uh, Namo Amida Butsu, you know, Namo Amida Butsu is to take refuge following the command of Amira Buddha. So we entrust ourselves to the working of Amira Buddha. And this is the most important part of the name, Namo Amida Butsu. So Amira Buddha is calling us, entrust yourself to my working comes first, and then we recite the name of Amira Buddha as I entrust myself to the working. And the name Namo Amida Butsu works as Shinjin, entrusting heart, and Nembutsu. The name makes us entrust ourselves uh, to the working and makes us recite the name. And it is like believing the power of the medicine. You know, although the medicine have power to cure the illness, if the person doubt the power and doesn't take the medicine, then the illness cannot be cured. But because the person believe the power of the medicine to cure the illness, the person takes medicine. So it is the person who took the medicine, but Actually, it is the power of the medicine that made the person believe the power and take the medicine. Does it make sense? As same as this, it is the power of the name Namo Amida Butsu, which makes us attain birth into the pure land. We entrust ourselves to this power and we recite Namo Amida Butsu in response to the Buddha's benevolence. So the name Namo Amida Butsu make us entrust ourselves to the working and make us recite the name, okay? So Shinjin, entrusting heart is the true cause for the attainment of birth and recitation of the name is to repay the debt of gratitude for Buddha's benevolence. And I am not sure if today's explanation was easy to understand, I hope our explanations in previous uh, days and today's explanation help to understand uh, these two verses uh, from Shoshinge. So tomorrow we are going, well, mo moving to next verse. So I hope uh, today's explanation helped. And in closing, please join me in the show. Please put your palms together. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 This will conclude today's morning service, and I hope you will have a great day today and hope to see you tomorrow morning. So thank you for attending today's service.